Hey, this is Stu, and I'm a product manager with Visual Analytics at SAS, and this is how you import your data. So we're gonna talk about a couple of ways in which you can add data into Visual Analytics. First, we're gonna talk about how you can add data that's already there. Then after that, we're gonna go into importing an Excel file, a CSV file, and then an old SAS 7B DAP file you might have lying around. So let's start with the easiest one, importing data that's already there. Your data is always here in the little data tab. So select data, go to add data, and if you know the name of your data set you're looking for, this little available tab, you could type in the name. In our case, it's air, which is a bunch of airline sales over time. But if you don't know the name of it, click on data sources, click on cast shared default, and you're going to see a bunch of what looks like folders. These are cast libs or cloud analytics services libraries. Think of these like folders and ours lives in the cast user library. This is our personal library just like your documents in your computer. Only you can see data in here. If we're going to select that, we could see there are two data sets in here. One of them has a little snowflake next to it. This means it's not loaded into memory. If you need to load it into memory, right click it and select load. Now, Visual Analytics only deals with data in memory, which makes it really fast. So we're going to select the one with the lightning bolt, and it's going to give us some information. We got our column information, and if you want to, you could profile your data, which means you could get statistics about it. So we'll click OK, and there we go. Our data is now in Visual Analytics, and we're ready to start analyzing. Well, now, what if we have stuff on our desktop, like an Excel file? Let's go back to the exact same place. Go to Add Data. But before we do that, we're going to click Data Sources. We're going to right-click CAS User. We're going to do Set as Default Target Location. This ensures that all of your data goes to your personal folder, and that makes it easy for importing. Next, we're going to go to Import, Local Files, Microsoft Excel, multiple worksheets, and we're going to go over to our data. And here we've got a bunch of baseball teams. We have three of them. We're going to double click that, and Visual Analytics is going to read the file and figure out how many worksheets are in there. And here we've got three. We're going to open up default import settings, and you can see here it's already going to our CAS user library. We're going to click Add. So there we go. We've got our table names that we're going to load. We've got all three of these, and notice that it's going to import multiple ones all at the same time, and we are going to add more to this plan as we go on. So great. Everything looks right. It's importing to the right worksheet. The first row contains column names. We know that. If we needed to limit the range, we could do that and type in our own Excel range, but we want to import everything. So that's an Excel file. Well, what if we have a CSV file? Same way. Let's click on the little plus icon, local files, and then select local file. We'll do cars.csv. This is just a bunch of vehicle data. So we're going to double click it, and Visual Analytics is going to upload that for us and put it into our existing plan. And now there's cars.csv. It's going to the right place. That's awesome. Now this save as in memory table only, this means don't create a on disk version of it or a snowflake version of it. You should go ahead and leave this as default. Now this label here, you can add a different label to the data set. It's just a metadata thing for searching, but we're going to leave it as default. If we go down to file specifications, we know that this is a comma delimited file. If you have multiple different types, you could do tabs, spaces, or a custom one. And if you click custom, it automatically chooses a pipe, which is another pretty common file. So we'll select comma. And the scanned rows option, this is nice. Visual Analytics needs to scan through the data to try and identify what type of column that it is. So by default, it's going to check 20 rows. If you import your data and it looks strange, try increasing this but it could take a little bit longer to load in your data as it scans through more data first. But if you need any help, click on this little question mark icon. So down here, we're going to leave all of this as default. We don't need to change any of these things. You only need to change this if you're importing data from another country, for example, but all of our data we know is from this country. So perfect. That's how you import a CSV file. But what if you have a SAS 7B DAT file? Maybe you're using Enterprise Guide in your computer and you have a local SAS file. Well, you can load that into Visual Analytics as well. The exact same way. We're going to select Local File. We're going to double click Demographics. This is a SAS file. And Visual Analytics already knows that this 
is a SAS file, and there's very little that we need to do to make it work. Everything will automatically be added for us. It's going to scan through the data, and it should look exactly the same way as we have in our SAS file. So the only thing you need to change here is if you have a password or an encryption key, this character multiplier, only change this if your text data is truncated. So if you have characters that are being cut off, try increasing this to two or three. It goes up to five. So here's all of our data. We're gonna go ahead and import everything. So click import all, and it's gonna go through and start importing each one. And that's it. We've got green check marks across the board. We're gonna click okay. And now we've got some of our data loaded and we can add it into Visual Analytics. Let's take a look here at our data sources. Here you could see if we go under the CAS user library, we could see everything that we've loaded, including all of the physical backing stores, those little snowflake icons. And that is how easy it is to import your data into Visual Analytics to begin analyzing your data right away. For more information and tips and tricks, check out the links in the description below. And also go to the SAS Communities Forum. I'm there answering questions, other SAS people are there answering questions, and people like you. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to the SAS Users YouTube channel. Thank you.